A lot of rappers talk crazy in the booth, but never really live that life. But Julio Fulio is the opposite. He sparked one of the deadliest wars in rap history and survived four shootouts. But most fans have no idea how wild his story really is. Today we're breaking it all down and diving into why his ops are terrified. Fulio came up on the north side of Jacksonville in one of the most active areas of the city called Six Block. He told Camp Capone News that he lost his first homie at just 15 years old. And by the time he was 20 years old, he already lost 15 of his friends to the streets. After he got kicked out of school in ninth grade, Fulio got sent to an alternative school in Op Territory. And that's when some crazy stuff went down. On the first day of school, someone from the Op Hood got killed waiting for the bus, and Fulio started dissing them all over social media. A lot of people at school thought Fulio had something to do with the hit, and he ended up getting into a fight over it. Throwing hands is one thing, but after the last bell rang, the situation took a wild turn. Fulio hopped on the bus, but the ops was following him. And while he was walking down the street, someone started letting off shots at him and his homies. A bullet hit Fulio in the leg and knocked his hip out of place, so he had to crawl away while the shooter was still busting shots. Fulio made it to the front yard of a woman who lived in the neighborhood and asked for help, but she just told him to get off her property and wouldn't do anything for him. Fulio passed out and woke up to the cops and EMT surrounding him. Then he blacked out again and woke up in the hospital. The ops wasn't the only ones who thought he was involved with the murder that went down that morning, and the police started questioning him over the situation. Eventually, Fulio proved that he was just going to school that morning and didn't catch the body, but after that day, his whole life took a brutal turn. Fulio actually tried working a normal job in a factory for a little while, but it only lasted a few months and he went right back to his street activities. Fulio went deeper into the streets and started rapping at the same time. At first, it was just something he was doing on the side, but after a couple of his early tracks started popping off, he realized that it could be his ticket out of the trenches. Around the same time Fulio was getting a buzz in the city, another rapper named Young and Ace was laying down tracks, trying to get his name popping. But instead of linking up and putting on for Jacksonville together, they split the city in half and dozens of bodies have dropped on both sides. Everything allegedly started with Fulio's cousin Zion Brown getting killed in 2017. Zion was at his crib when a dude named DeAndre Thomas threw a brick through the window and started letting off shots. Two girls in the house got hit and survived, but Zion tragically didn't make it out alive. Ace and Thomas was tight. And in 2018, they both got hit with charges for allegedly robbing a weed dealer and letting off shots. Ace skated on the case, but a few months later, he suffered a brutal loss that took his beef with Fulio to the next level. Ace, his brother, and two of his best friends went out to eat and celebrate his homie's birthday. And when they left the spot, a shooter rode up on them and dumped a clip into their car. Ace got hit eight times, but he was the only one who wasn't killed. After it went down, Fulio sent some shots on social media, and he told Say Cheese TV that he ain't feel bad about it because he knew they'd do the same thing if he was the one who got killed. Even though he was dissing Ace's dead homies, Fulio said the beef wasn't that deep, but what happened next proved that wasn't the case. In January 2019, a rapper named Boss Goon was shot and killed in Jacksonville outside a nightclub. He had just been released from prison after serving a decade behind bars, and his own dad got hit up in the same shooting that killed him. Boss Goon was the older brother of Ace's homie K So, who was allegedly one of the top shooters in Ace's ATK crew. K So already had a rep in the streets, but after his brother died, he allegedly clapped back and killed one of Fulio's best friends. Lil Baby was always hanging around Fulio, even though his homie K Shorty warned him to stay away. Fulio was already one of the most hated dudes in the city, and K Shorty knew that Baby could get caught up in all the drama and have a target on his back too. Unfortunately, Bibby ain't listen, and in February 2019, a shooter walked him down outside his apartment building and started letting off shots. He tried to get away, but the shooter ran up and killed him in broad daylight. Ace's side started dissing Bibby like crazy, and K So dropped the track K So Bitch and rapped, and you know we smoke little Bibby bitch, K So Bitch, Glocks and Rugers, we be hitting shit, we slipping shit, don't run, we chase you down, we blitzing shit, we blitzing shit, don't be Bibbied out. We hitting shit, and shots a little bitch, Bibby'd out. Now K So is facing a murder charge for killing Bibby. Plus, he's fighting another case for allegedly killing another one of Fulio's homies named Lil Buck. Then Fulio's side allegedly clapped back by taking out Ace's homie Leaky. Leaky was one of Fulio's biggest ops, and Leaky allegedly even shot his girlfriend's finger off. In April 2020, 
Fulio's girlfriend, Bubin, was driving his whip when a shooter rolled through and started letting off shots at her and her friend. Bubin tried to drive off and duck away from the bullets, but she ended up getting hit in the head, knee, and even lost a finger. Rumors said that Leaky was the one who pulled up on that, and his homie spin a band's this Fulio over it on the track I Don't Smoke Kendra and rapped, This nigga mama got shot and he's still tweaking. This nigga bitch got shot. Cool, I know she leaving. They shot that whole finger off, she couldn't even tweet it. A month after Bubin got hit, Leaky allegedly kills another dude from 6 Block named 3 5. 3 5 was just posted on the block with some homies when a shooter hopped out of a whip and hit all of them. 3-5's homie survived, but unfortunately, he didn't make it out. According to some people, Leaky was one of the most active dudes in the city and he allegedly took out another op one month after 3-5 died. A rapper named Jump Out Squeeze had just dropped a diss track against Leaky and some of his homies. Then 10 days later, he was murdered while trying to apply for a job at an Amazon warehouse. Leaky was putting on crazy pressure in the street, and in September 2020, it all caught up to him when he was killed sitting right next to Spin Events. They was both in the whip with some other homies when another car pulled up and started letting off shots, and by the time they was finished, Leaky was dead. Nobody was ever booked for the murder, but Leaky's sister claims that Julio was involved with the hit. After he died, Julio hopped on Rod K's track all gas and rapped, shot my car up twice then hit my bitch, now Leaky rest in peace. Then he named a song after Leaky and said, 100k, he'll shake the room, sweep his block, we don't need no broom. They ask me how high I am, I'm Leaky high, I'm to the moon. Getting Leaky out of the picture was a big win for Julio and 6 Block, but then they suffered two more losses back to back. Fulio's homie spazzed two times, was found shot to death at the Hilltop Village Apartments where Bibby died. Then the very next day, Rod K was killed in the same place. After it went down, Spin and Vans dropped the track I Don't Smoke Kendra and rapped. Rod K died, he was spinning, guess he freezed up. Fuck his last words, cool, the last thing he seen was us. And spazz two times got dropped, how he do that? Scrolling through his phone in Hilltop, thought you knew that. The violence in Jacksonville was getting crazier every day, but Fulio wasn't safe even when he left the city. In 2020, he was out in Houston when the ops pulled up and tried to take him out. They shot up his whip and grazed him in the neck, but Fulio hopped right back on social media to clown the ops for not finishing the job. Good job, nigga shot me, but he didn't kill me. I'm Kendra. <laughs> you fucking stupid. As soon as Fulio got hit up, rumors were flying that Ace and his crew was behind it. And when they dropped the track Who I Smoke, Fast Money Goon basically confirmed the rumor and rapped, I told the rocket when I traveled, I'm pistol packing in Houston. I was lurking on his page and caught him lacking in Houston. We let off shots, he got shot and went live. I was tweaking like, fuck man, that bitch ain't died. Who I Smoke took the war in Jacksonville to another level. It's one of the most savage diss tracks of all time. And after it popped off and went viral, more people started paying attention to what was going down in the city. Young and Ace, Spin Up Benz, Wapa with the Chopper, and Fast Money Goon all took shots at Fulio and his dead homies. And even Fulio admitted that the track was cold. Fulio wasn't just gonna take the shots without responding though. And a few weeks later, he clapped back with the track When I See You and took the disrespect to another level. Fulio started off the video with a news report about the shooting that left Ace's brother and two homies dead. He also printed out a flyer with their pictures on it and danced in front of it while dissing them with lines like, Ace from the West, how he clicked up with the East Side. He ain't been the same since he seen the other three die. Bitch, I'm 2-3 high. Bitch, say your goodbye. Get that boy to business like a suit and a bow tie. Light them boys block up like the 4th of July. They got caught lacking, the whole world wanna know why. 2021 was when the beef went viral and Fulio took the chance to send all kinds of crazy shots at Ace and his homies. On his remix of the track Beatbox, Fulio and his homie Kojak dissed Queso's brother Boss Goon and rapped, Rolling dead ops, he caught a headshot. Big Boss gone, we got him scared now. He was dissing in them songs, what he saying now? AR with the 50 round, knock his dread off. Then Fulio name dropped a bunch of dead ops and said, Prosper got shot, Tay got shot, Desi got dropped, Nate got popped, Leaky got shot, Spaz face hot, Corbin got kidnapped, they found his bones, he was rotten. Corbin Johnson was a dude affiliated with the same set as Lil Leaky. Just like Jump Out, who Leaky allegedly killed, one of the last places Corbin was seen alive was at the Amazon warehouse. He had an interview that day, but after he left his mom's crib around 9.30 that night, he was never seen again. They put a missing persons report out on him two days later, but nobody found him until the next year. 
Exactly one year after he disappeared, Corbin's body was found in the woods wrapped up in a plastic bag. Nobody knows who actually took him out, but Fulio's been dissing him ever since. Fulio kept the pressure up on the rap side when he dropped the track List of Dead Ops in October 2021. Everyone already knew that the disrespect in the Jacksonville drill scene was on another level, but Fulio took everything even further and dissed over 30 dead ops. He started it off by dissing a dude named Big Baby and some other ops. Big Baby's the one who got murdered on Fulio's first day at the new school, and on the track he rapped, Five got hit in the head, he tried to swim at the pool. Big Baby got caught in the morning at the bus, was going to school. Quanah died in the suburbs, remember that shit hit the news. Top got hit in his top, done, he should have had a tool. Back in 2016, Fulio's op Malcolm was killed in a shootout on 2nd Avenue in the northwest area of Jacksonville. He took a shot at him and Corbin on the same track and said, Malcolm died on 2nd, they taught his bitch ass a lesson. Hey, Corbin got kidnapped, how the fuck a grown man go missing? Then he aired out a dude named Eldridge who allegedly got ran down on for snitching on his homies and rapped. Eldridge died, he was snitching. Either way, he was going to get it. Fulio wasn't going to leave Ace out of it though, and he sent more shots with the line. Can't forget 2-3, Quan, and Foe in the back seat. Hey, Ace only one survived. See, that nigga blessed if you ask me. Uh, if he's still trying to beef, remember, you lost three. In 2015, Fulio's op Desi was found shot multiple times in the head and face. His dad was actually a retired cop. But Desi had all kinds of charges like carrying a concealed firearm, resisting arrest, and more. Fulio dissed him on the track, plus a dude named Freddie Patterson who had dissed Lil Bibby on a song in the past. After Freddie dropped the diss, someone knocked on his front door and murdered him when he answered it. Fulio clowned both of them and rapped, All the new ops gon' hate, nigga. We be bucking shit. Tampa Bay. Desi Ash tried to run, died in the yard, shoulda had his gun. Freddie said he's smoking Bibby, now his big dumb ass in my lungs. Fulio was already one of the most hated dudes in Jacksonville, but all the dissing made the target on his back even bigger. And one month after he dropped List of Dead Ops, two shooters caught him outside the studio and let off over 100 shots. Fulio told DJ Academics, I walk out the studio, I'm walking down like the carport to my car. As soon as I get to sit down a little bit, niggas go to blowing. Bah, 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 bah. Anytime I walk anywhere, I got my gun in my hand, walking well in Jacksonville. Like, that's just how you gotta be. Type you have it in your hand or you have it on your person? In my hand. So I lean back, up my gun, go to shooting back. I shoot my whole clip and shit. Both of the other shooters ran off and Fulio shot back. And after they left, he hopped right on social media. You nigga not no shooters. I ended my whole clip on my daddy. Stop playing with me, nigga. And I ain't get hit hit. I got grades in the leg. Stop playing. I'm a tradie, nigga. I ended my whole clip, nigga. Fulio's ops in Jacksonville ain't the only dudes he has to worry about, though. A video came out showing a random guy trying to press Fulio in the mall and make him crash out on camera, but Fulio kept it cool and didn't react. Around the same time, a viral clip came out where Fulio allegedly tried to run up on NBA Youngboy for not checking in. Fulio and his crew rode up on Youngboy's hotel and the situation got tense. Luckily, nothing serious went down, but fans were worried that Youngboy was going to get wrapped up in the war in Jacksonville too. It turns out that the whole thing was just a misunderstanding though. Youngboy was saying Fulio in his tracks, and fans tagged Fulio and said Youngboy was dissing. Fulio is just a slang term where Youngboy comes from though, and he wasn't even talking about Fulio. Fulio went on No Jumper. He had a show in Jacksonville, bro. Man. I went pulling up on some old check-in. The internet made that check-in shit, bro. So when I pulled up on him, I'm pulling up on him to see like, what do Fulio mean? Like, that's mm. what we trying to ask him. He also talked about the mall video and said they had the dudes recording him outnumbered and could have handled it easily if they really wanted smoke. It's two of them, two, three of them. It's like six, seven of us. So we're going to beat y'all ass. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's not no problem. And if y'all take it, though, we're going to take it, though. But it's just the point, bro. Like. You got on the ankle monitor. We're in the full court. You're right here, you want to do the most. Let's at least take it out the side or some shit. Yeah. But what you want to do, you want to go live, this, this, and that. So if anything happened, they coming to Fulio. Fulio wasn't going to get into it with some random dude. But when the rapper from Louisiana linked up with his ops, he ain't hesitated to start sending shots. Jada Youngin was popping off and made headlines for beefing with NBA Youngboy before his tragic death in 2022. But a few years before that, he linked up with Young and Ace for a collab tape and even dissed Fulio's dead homie Bibby in 8. Fulio clapped back on the track Crazy Story Part 6 and clowned Jay for getting his chain snatched with the line, Jada Youngin, you a fucking bitch. Jit, you not on shit. Said fuck 8, you from out of town, but now you on that list. 
Heard you got a baby on the way, cause you riding ace dick. Got your chain snatched in Gainesville? Bitch, you not legit. Even after Jay was brutally shot and killed, Fulio hopped on Instagram to clown him. Fulio's known for dissing ops, getting into shootouts, and all that. But he also knows how to move and not get into bad situations for no reason. In the streets, in the industry too. He talked to Cam Capone News about not feeding into all the drama on social media. And talked about how he once turned down a $150,000 deal with Quality Control Records because it wasn't right for him. He from QC flew Fulio out to Atlanta and offered him a bunch of cash. But Fulio knew he needed to learn how the industry really worked before he signed with anyone. All kinds of labels were reaching out to him, but Fulio didn't want to give away his masters and let someone else decide when he could release music. Now he got a deal that works for him on the industry side of things, but he still got a target on his back in Jacksonville and almost died again in 2023. On October 8, 2023, Fulio's mom hopped on Instagram and broke the news that he had been shot and asked for prayers from his fans. Rumors were flying that he was in critical condition and might not make it out of this one a lot. But then his mom posted a photo of Fulio in the hospital and wrote, y'all know he good. A viral photo of the bullet wound in his foot was going around and everyone thought he was going to lose it. But luckily it seems like he'll be able to keep it. After he started recovering, Fulio hopped on social media and posted a photo of his foot all bandaged up and wrote, all this money on my head, I posted Ben dead. All this money on my head, I posted Ben dead which was a reference to K-So's track, Been Dead. According to news reports, the ops was waiting for Fulio and ambushed him when they spotted his whip. It's not clear who's behind the shooting yet, but there will always be people in Jacksonville who want to see him dead. Fulio has survived getting shot four times in eight years. So far, he's been getting lucky and making it out alive, but hopefully he switches up how he moves and stops getting caught up in crazy situations.